Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. You're probably wondering what on earth is going on, aren't you? Posty has just been. It's just gone 20 past 9 on Saturday morning and he's brought my cosy toast to my pram. At the moment you're looking at my parasol. <laughs> now I'm in the uh, dolly room. I'm thinking I've decided to call it dolly room now. And um, I don't know how this is going to work because I, I am at literally leaning backwards on the other side of the room because it's only a small room but uh, I should put the parcel down in the moment but I want you to see the parcel um, and then the broidery anglaise um, do be inside the cosy toes so there you are that's the parcel and there's a glance down my pram uh, you can see the uh, cosy toes inside isn't that lovely it looks really pretty there's no baby in there yet it's just fluffed up and there's the uh, rug in the bottom of the pram <laughs> the tray underneath um, i'm gonna put the parasol down now so it might get a little bit uh, sort of jiggity because i've got to go around the other side just a second focus yeah you might hear hubby coughing he's just not long had his medicine <coughs> there it goes that goes down oops caught in the roof <laughs> just push that back there we go so let's start from the top shall we right the, oh there's my boxes. So they're a little bit sort of more um, like the, the deer on the front, the Bambi type thing is a bit, um, not really my taste. I don't know why. Um, I would prefer it a slightly different colour, maybe white or something. But two storage boxes for £2 is not to be knocked, is it? And then there's, I moved that uh, craft stuff down to the end. And in each box is actually craft stuff, apart from the bottles in the middle. But it hides it out the way and makes it look nursery. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I haven't decided what to do about the shelves yet, whether to move it up a little bit for more room or whatever, because it's still on a uh, craft room. There's Hubby's trucks at the top. There you go. So I don't know whether to... Uh, you know, move them up a bit or down, well, it won't be down, but up a bit or anything. So, uh, and I've put, taken the printer off the end of there, and it's on the um, Calax behind me now, with the sewing machines and my die cutter. So one side of the room is definitely craft stuff in that area. I'll show you quickly in a minute. It is messy though, so I warn you, you know, don't, uh, don't think I'm always this messy, because I, I try not to be. And there's uh, Tristan laying on the changing mat up there, bless him. Uh, I made that little pillow for him. Yeah, I use it around all sorts. It's in my crib. It was in my pram so just now. And then there's an assortment of little teddies. The same stuff's in the corner still because uh, I haven't got my storage units yet. I think they might be coming today um, because they are with the courier. They are with my Hermes. But whether they will actually come out later today or come out Monday, I have no clue. Right, and then the bit you're waiting for. So I'll do the pram first. No, I'll do the cosy toast first, actually. So uh, on my pram, I've got that little gadget there. Is you can put your phone in there so you can film while you're walking along. Really cool. Got that from Amazon, I think. It's to go on push bikes. The only thing I found was... Because they've got these foamy handles now, it's left a permanent indent, indentation in the handle. But that's okay, I know where to put it then, don't I? And then there's the cosy toes. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's put, it's, uh, excuse my fingers. Um, see if I can hold it like that. And put the hood down, you can see it properly. There you go. There it is. And the back of this is oh i'm in my own life sorry i should it is a bit awkward i'll show you the cozy toes properly in the bedroom in a little while i'll take lydia in and show you um but you can unzip the top and it comes off like a pram quilt and then the bottom is a nice liner and then you can put it back together have it however you want it so i really like that idea if that was a real baby it'd be really handy uh, my um daughter had a gorgeous Sorry about the noise. The hood is noisy to pull up. There you are. I pulled it right the way up now. My go my my gorgeous. My daughter had a gorgeous all pink one for Tegan. Really lovely when she was a baby. So on the other side is my um, 
parasol. I always have embroidery on glaze, white embroidery on glaze parasol for all my babies, boys and girls. And then, as I say, I've got the phone holder there. And they do this strap on prams today, which is good <laughs> so that you don't lose your pram. You put your hand around it for safety, you know, your hand through it, through the loop. But it did make me laugh because, like, you know, you should be safe to you win, hold on to your pram. But also it's good because, you know, you never know. It's, it can't, you can't have a problem with the brakes or anything, I suppose. And then got a dummy holder. It doesn't fit on there that well. Uh, that's my Suavinex dummy holder that I got from eBay Warehouse Deals for less than half price. I've got two of them, actually. One in the crib and one on the pram. Then on the pram you get this little cup that you can put bottles in. The only problem I find with it is it moves really easily. Uh, I'm not even looking. <laughs> it moves really easily and I'm often finding it and it's like that. But it's cute. If I'm going for a walk in the summer, I put a bottle of water in there. And then this is my pram. So I've got the grey hood, like a charcoal, which I like because I like uh, grey smart. And then the body part is black, uh, and I've got lovely rose gold um, metal, you know, the frame, the metal work. And then down the bottom, I've um, got lovely wheels. This is so beautiful to push. Lovely swivel wheels, and you can turn this into, uh, oh, and the shopping basket look, which is great because um, I can put things in there when I'm walking along. And I basically use it like a walker when I take it out. And I can put my bits and pieces on the bottom when I go on the shops. So it really helps me, actually. Um, and then you can actually sit it right up, which I can't do one-handed. But use a thing you pull underneath and um, it can sit up. And you can also turn it the other way so it's forward-facing if you want it to or for an older toddler to see. So around the front, it's got a little um, foot stand for that so the toddler would put their feet on there foot rest um, the wheels are lovely and I believe that they're solid wheels and they've got the rose gold on as well and I believe they're solid wheels so uh, I should never have a puncture because I know a lot of them get punctures now don't they look at the mess down there please don't look <laughs> there you are and at the front you can lift this up so you can uh, you know baby doesn't get hot there and I've also got uh, pockets like that one on each side it's there I don't know there so I can lift that up there's one like that on each side Um, I, I don't know how to do this now because I've got I'll try and do it one handed Um, if you can put up with the uh, wobbles because it's really hard to do it holding it and uh, see the plastic drawers behind I've got some units coming they're similar to Calax so that's going to be changed to um, like squares you know with the with the cubes in and they're grey and white uh, boxes in there some have got star, white with grey stars some are grey I think and I've got two um, six squares three on top and three at the bottom to replace those drawers over there and then over this, excuse the boxes, it's all stuff that's going out. Um, and then I've got some little storage pots ready, look, in the pound shop. Where this unit is, um, that's going to be two drawers and two squares on top of those. And then, let's turn it on this way so you can see. Oh, actually, I'll stay it that way. So there's my messy desk. There's the apron. And there's where I put the printer now. It's the stuff for the pram, the rain cover. And the bar that goes across and the cover of my sewing machine. And uh, I took that off the pram because that's usually on the bar that goes across. And you know these ones on the end that I don't like, the old ones. Um, that's going to be changed for six squares as well. So it'll be three each side. And I'm two centimetres out on my measurements when I realise later I am useless at measuring things. I always end up with stuff either too big or too small. Maths never was my forte. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, it's uh, my shelf, my desk. Don't make you dizzy. Uh, 
that's my new wallpaper for the living room there lush it is uh, I'll show you my son gave it to me for nothing I don't want to get the black bags and everything for the tip but books boxes um, so it's going to be upside down but uh, the wrong way around as well Hang on. Look at that, it's not going very well, the light is terrible, but look at that, isn't that just gorgeous, and I love birds, so, and butterflies, so I'm happy about that, so I'm going to spin around more quickly now, and I'm going to grab the bar, and put it on the pram, now I'm going to try and do this one handed, so bear with me, so this would go <laughs> across the front there, like that, there you go and then just so I can spin around quickly without making you sick get my cover and then the cover would go it is zipped on um, you zip the cover on I can't do it one-handed um, you zip the cover on and then you can either leave it down or what I do is I push it under there and I bring it over the top and I fasten it with a popper and then nobody can see what's in the pram because when you're, oh, I can't be really sure. When you're stood back, you can't see what's in the pram. Look, I know the thing has folded, has fallen down now, but you can't see what's in the pram when it's up there. So when you're walking down the street, nobody knows if you're pushing a grandchild, or you know whatever. So now I'd probably put that down and put that over the top, and you still probably couldn't see inside. And in the summer, you can always put one of those black sunshades netting cover things i don't know what they're called that goes over the prow and the baby can't be seen and then you can leave the covers off or otherwise an insect nest and it does dull it enough that you can't tell whether the baby's real or not so take that off and i'll just drop it down for now and then i have um let's bring you over here sorry about all the messing about i'm trying to do it best i can do have a little insect nest that came with it, but it's very small. I put it over the pram normally, and it just keeps the dust off the baby. And then you've got the rain cover, which I can't get on properly for love nor money. I just can't work it out. And this is still in the wrapping. And this is actually the tray. I'm hoping with the reflection you can still see. But <clears throat> try it that way, it's against the wall. So that you've got something to behind it and that's the tray that goes on when it's facing forward or you or facing towards you um that you um you know when you've got a toddler sat up or an older baby sat up and it's even got a little thing there to put a drinks in or a little, little cup in oops not in the film a little thing there so i'll bring you back so uh <laughs> isn't that adorable i got this off ebay it's an unbranded one I took a risk on it, I decided. It went on, it was brand new. Let's make it smaller, that might help me. Um, hello, Saren and Chase. Um, it's brand new, it um, was put on and um, they put it on for £88 and that included delivery. And they put it on to bid and nobody else bid on it. So I had it completely brand new for that, which was an absolute bargain. And uh, I'd recently sold two of my dolls so I treated myself to it because <coughs> I'd wanted a new pram ever since I sold my silver cross um, I sold my silver cross my vintage silver cross to um, change when I changed the room to a to a, a like a craft room um, and like I say originally it was for my shop but I sold the pram to make room because the pram went against that far wall where the storage is now and there was no room to put anywhere else so I sold it and then uh, put all the drawers and everything in for my stock. And we put the shelves up so I could put craft stuff above, my shop stuff down the bottom. And then I could use the top then for cutting out fabric, cutting um, a paper and different things, using the die cutter, measuring, that kind of thing. Look at him on there. I'm sorry the light's so bad. It's not a good light in this room anyway. I know it sounds daft for a craft room, but you, you know, I'm lucky to have the spare room. That's how I look at it. Uh, there's a little hat up there that I've done to go with the girls. Um, I shouldn't say really, and the socks, but you would have seen it. 
um, to go with the girls' giveaway. And there's the socks there for the boys. Um, let me see if I can show you. If I can reach. Ooh. You get... These are first size. And you get... Um, I don't want to open them because I want... You know, because they're for the, a gift. Um, and then you get one pair of knee-high blue. Like a pale blue, baby blue. And one pair of knee-high white. And they're in first size, which is newborn. So they are going in. And then I've done another one of these hats. And that's going in with the dress. And then I've got to do some more bits through the week as I get time. I'm going to leave the rest for surprises though. So there he is, bless him. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the pram. It is uh, a bit particularly lovely, isn't it? Um, I never thought I'd like a modern pram, but I love this. Uh, I'm very protective of it, funnily enough. You know, like men are with their cars. I come in and I wipe it down, the, you know, with a, with a wet wipe. I won't wash it with anything other than, you know, just wipe the dust off the frame with um, the water wet wipes and uh, keep my wheels clean and all that kind of thing. And I just love it. And it's so easy to push. And even though, you know, I'm riddled with arthritis and things, it's really good. It's easy to push and I can use it like a walker. So I can't really lose. Uh, it's great. And like I say, it's uh, ideal because you can't see what's inside. Let's show you the inside again. So there you go. And as I say, I can't do it with one hand, but the seat does lift up in stages so you can slope it. Sometimes I have um, whatever babies in there. Lydia's been in there recently. Um and whatever baby's in that have them more sloped so it's a bit like a bouncer chair to look at you know with a slope at the back oh another thing you can do as well is if you push these handles in you can uh, make the handle higher or lower so i have it lower um i do like it slightly high so i can actually put it exactly where i want it slightly high for someone that's five foot two but lower you know uh, and at the height i like it i can get it a perfect height and i love that so all I need now is like a little pram bag or a little pram organiser to hang over the end somewhere so I can put my purse and phone in when an asthma pump, that kind of thing, when I go out with Tegan in the summer for a pram walk. And, uh, you know, Tegan's 11 now. She's going to get to the age soon. She might not want to do it anymore. But um, I know that if I took my pram, she'd still come with me for a walk, even if she didn't want to do it herself. So uh, that's absolutely fine. So I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I shall pop on now into the bedroom and I'll um, I'll stop here and pause and I'll go into the bedroom and I'll put the cosy toes on the bed and I'll get Lydia and I'll show you it properly. So I'll be back in a sec. Look at this. The weather is absolutely awful. Absolutely awful today. Wet and miserable. Hi, back again. I've just went and got um, Lydia from the Rock and Napper. And me and Lexi have come in. I'm just moving around the tripod again, yet again. Um, and me and Lexi have come in the bedroom now, so you can see this um, cosy toes uh, properly. Isn't it beautiful? I've wanted one of these for a long time, and never got one. And I just decided that um, I was going to get one because I want it ready for the summer. I'm really thinking, think positive. And, you know, hopefully we'll get out at least a couple of times in the summer with the pram. And if not, Lydia's going to look absolutely beautiful in there. So uh, I'll just put Lydia down on the side of the bed. She's all wrapped up. She's here. Say hi to your aunties. Wrapped up and snuggly because uh, she's in the rock and napper near the window. So they make me feel cold if it's a cold day like today and they're not wrapped up. <laughs> so, right, let's see. I think I'm going to go back up the other side. Right, so this literally came... Um, and then I could not wait to show you because I've been so excited about this arriving. I only um, bought it Thursday uh, from eBay, so it's arrived really, really quickly. Um, I expected to get like sort of Monday at the earliest, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, but it arrived today and there's some things, it varies. I recently found a lovely vintage design, <coughs> excuse me, shower curtain for the bathroom on eBay. And it's an ex Georgia Asda one, and it's lovely. I might even grab it in a minute and show you because I haven't managed to struggle and hang it up yet. I can't quite reach, and I can't climb on chairs or anything anymore. And I've got a step that helps you get into the bath, and I stood on that, and I'm literally like an inch too short to hang up this flipping shower curtain and take the other one down. 
so I might try and uh, get hubby to do it. Uh, you can puff and pant for a couple of seconds and try and help me. <laughs> so we have this beautiful, sounds like a TV sales, doesn't it? I wake up to them in the morning sometimes, playing away. This mattress, try it for 60 days. If you don't like it, you can send it back. Oh. And it goes round and round and round if you don't bother turning it off. Right. So we have this beautiful embroidery on glaze um, cosy toes. And it's got um, the plainer embroidery on glaze there with the cute bows. Yeah, there's two. Then you've got the frilly part, the uh, part that goes, I don't know what you call that, <laughs> flap. <laughs> and then it's got this sort of embroidery on glaze that you'd use for dresses. And it's trimmed there, look, with a fill of it. And another bow on there. So it's absolutely stunning. And then it has the cushion part. Let me just check what you're seeing. Then it has the cushion part. And it's in this planar fabric. With the fill of that around. So it's perfect. And on the back, you've got a strip of elastic. So you can put it over the back of a pushchair. And you've also got, when you... You've got the points for the harness for a real child. Which obviously I won't use. Um, I might even catch them with a stitch if they start getting to look too big. Um, you might hear bumping and banging. I don't know if the microphone will pick it up. Because um, upstairs the lady is doing a house swap today. So um, they've started moving furniture about 9 o'clock. Oh, the zip's the other side. And you can zip this off. There's a zip that goes all the way around. I haven't undone it yet, so I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, no, it's fine. And it goes all the way around. Make sure, D, that you don't catch the fabric in it. Because that would be just like me. Have it a week and make a hole in it because I caught the fabric. And then you can use the top as a quilt on its own if you wanted to. And that isn't hard or anything. If it was for a real baby, it's it, it wouldn't hurt a real baby. And you know, I might even use that just like a quilt sometimes. And not like a cosy toes. And then you've got the bottom then. So this is the pram liner. The bottom point of the harness will go through there. And the two... Let's make sure I'm not moving it out of frame. Because I've got a habit of not staying in frame. There you go. So you've got the two straps that go over baby's shoulders there. And the one that comes up between their legs there. So it's lovely for a real baby. Um, it's nice and soft. I don't know how long it would last with a real baby or a heavier baby. Uh, be fine for my baby so and um, that's it it's absolutely gorgeous it's stunning isn't it and of course you can take that off and then that means that um, you can do it like we used to years ago if you wanted to where you put the quilt on top of the apron do you remember doing that ladies us older ladies we used to put the um, quilt on top of the pram for show rather than put it over the baby and the baby would be snuggled up inside obviously blankets and things and then we'd put the pretty quilt on the top Especially if you have a nice pram, like a silver cross. So uh, that's absolutely lovely. I'm delighted with that. I've wanted one for so long. And I just didn't commit myself. I wondered whether it'd be too big and, you know, this sort of thing. And I left it. And I'm useless at measuring. You'll see that when my stuff arrives. <laughs> um, how I'm going to fit the end unit in between... Um, the end of the calyx and the wardrobe I don't know because the set of old tatty drawers that's in there now is jammed in there and my measuring says on my second measure after I bought it which I shouldn't measure so quickly the first time um, that um, it's two centimetres wider than I thought when I measured it so uh, we shall see I don't think I can move the calyx up any but because um, it's already against the corner desk but we shall see. I'm sure I shall find a way of getting around it. I shall try and be there, I expect, like an elephant, trying to push against this wardrobe to see if it'll go back a fraction and push the calyx at the other end a fraction. And I'll make it fit, don't you worry. Or else otherwise, I'll just have to see if a different set will go in there and put the bigger set the other end. But I'll, I'll make it fit, don't you worry. So, uh, so there you go. So I'm off now. I'm going to put Lydia in the pram. And um, I doubt I'll be able to take any pictures for Instagram today, but I will try and take some um, just in case and see how they come out. Because the light is atrocious, as you can see by looking at her there. Even in here, the light is awful. It's all shadows and dull. 
So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. And sorry I rubbed it on so long, but I was so much I wanted to give you a good uh, go into detail, you know, with both things so you could really see it. And um, if you're in the UK, I'll put the um, I'll try and remember to put the seller underneath in the um, uh, you know when it says show show more, so that if you if you wanted to buy when you can, okay. So bye for now. Take care. Oh, please like and subscribe. I don't know what to say. I'm so used to saying goodbye. Take care. Look after yourselves and each other. I've got to work out now to remember to say, and please like and subscribe if you'd like to. <laughs> so bye for now. Take care, everyone. Lots of love. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye.